Hey there, everybody. This is Berkshire Pokemon uh, coming on to you with another video. And today we can finally say, even though I have kind of showed this in the video, we can finally say that we have completed the Darkness Ablaze Master Set. So I'm going to just show you here um, with the camera briefly here. So we have every card in here from the Butterfree and Butterfree VMAX. You notice all of these, there's two cards here. So we have the um, a regular, uh, common, uncommon, rare, or hollow rare, and we also have the reverse behind it. So, uh, let's see if I can, like, pick this, maybe zoom this up just a little bit. There we go. Let's hope we can get the whole thing in the view. I know there's going to be a little bit of a glare there. There's not much I can do on that. But we've got all the commons and uncommons here, and... As you can see, we've got all of them there. Now you're going to say, hey, wait, there's a missing spot there. Well, if you saw a previous video, um, this is where that card goes. That is the Charizard VMAX. It's gonna, this is going to stay with the Master Set. So uh, there's our Charizard VMAX. And you have your regular Charizard and all that in there. And then we're going to go through quickly because you really, you know, you don't care about these guys so much. These are the easier ones to get. Um, I really do like the Mew. I remember pulling a lot of them when I was I was heavy. This was probably my heaviest Sun and Mo um, Sword and Shield set that I did. Um, a lot of Crobats. Um, Eternatist was not an easy one to pull, especially the Rainbow when I had to buy the Rainbow. Um, but we got like Scizor, very common one to get. The Stunfisk. Um, Salamance was not as easy for me, the, not, not as an easy pull for me, but many people said he was very easy to get that one. And then all of your trainers here. So we're just going through this very quick. And this is where the, the good stuff is. So you got your full art Butterfree V, your full art Houndoom V, your full art Scorch V, full art Vicavolt V. And then on this page, you have your Rhyperior full art V. Crobat V Full Art, Scissor V Full Art, Galarian Stunfisk Full Art, Salamance V Full Art, Kabu Full Art, Piers Full Art, uh, Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Full Art, Rose Full Art, and then on this last page, you've got your Butterfree Rain V Max Rainbow, your Scorch V Max Rainbow. As I said, the Eternatist V Max Rainbow was a very hard one to get. I couldn't get that. Apparently, the pull rate on it is crazy. I ended up buying that one. Um, the Scizor VMAX Rainbow, the Salamance VMAX Rainbow, and then you have Pokemon Breeders Nurturing Rainbow, the Rose Rainbow, and then you've got Gold Rillaboom, Gold Colossal, so those are your gold card Pokemon anyways. Then you got your Big Paracel gold card, your Turbo Patch gold card, and your Capture Energy gold card. And then I kept this reverse pan pour only because it was very strange. This came out of a pack like this. If you look at the back of it, it's hard to see, but in the letters of the M O N, like in the middle right there, you can see there's a, there you go. Now you can see it like that came out of the pack like that. It's like they cut it on the cutter very awkwardly. And I don't know. It seemed interesting. It was the reverse. I figured I would keep it. Um, so I probably will keep it with this set. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm not using these binders anymore just because they're, they're, be, they're getting to be too bulky and they're getting to be kind of cumbersome. So what I am starting to do is I am, um, converting them to, these are 300 count, um, storage boxes from BCW. You can get them from other brands, I'm sure. Um, but what I've been doing is converting them like this. So essentially what you do is, um, they'll be wedged in here. So, like, this is Battle Styles, the newest set. So, you got the Bell Sprout, I sleeved it, and then you got the Bell Sprout Reverse. And then the Weeping Bell, and then the Weeping Bell Reverse. And this isn't complete, so it doesn't have everything in it. And then anything that was like V or better, I put in a Dragon uh, Shield sleeve. So, like, when you get to the end of this, for example, you know, you've got your trainer still, your reverse and your regular, reverse and regular, you know, sort of thing. And then all of these are in Dragon Shields. So I'm going to be converting, um, so I'm going to be converting that Darkness Ablaze set into one of these boxes. And the good hits will either end up in the Dragon Shields or like some of them are in the Japanese sleeves. I don't like to use the ETB sleeves from the American 
um, productions because of that foil on it will actually come off. So I do not use those. Um, but like I have a couple sleeves here. So like for example, these this is a Japanese sleeve right here. Um, there's no chance there's no texture on here, so there's no chance of it being scratched up. And it, it's not gonna like the there's no foil that's gonna leach out or anything. So I use a lot of these guys for the hits. And like I said, with the newer sets, you know, you get about on average there's you know maybe 200 cards or something in the set. And then with all your reverses and stuff, you're looking at probably in the range of 300 cards. So you should be able to fit a whole master set into one of these boxes fairly snug. Um, as you can see, this one's about maybe three quarters of the way um, completed. And it's it's snug in there. There's a little bit of room. If I need be, though, I would put something in there so they don't move. But um, the idea is, is that these boxes are going to take up less room. Then the binders, and I'm not really going to be looking at these kind of things um, that much. And then we got this guy is like a waterproof tub. So that if you see the side here, this is a water resist. I shouldn't say waterproof. It's like water resistant. Um, so they're all going to get put in the couple of these guys. I have a bunch of these guys coming. And as you can see here, if you put the lid on it, it'll... It'll latch right down with that rubber seal. And then this part here, it'll stack. So we can get a bunch of these and stack them up. And um, I think that's going to be a good um, direction to go. Um, to to, to kind of get rid of some of the binder clutter. Um, but there you have it, guys. This is the Darkness Ablaze Master um, Set. So as I said, this Charizard goes with it. But yeah, so um, this is going to be my master set of Darkness Ablaze. And I do have a second one of these Charizards coming back at some point from Beckett. And um, I do have mo a mostly complete second set. So I may just actually build the second one and set that one aside too. And uh, have two of them of this particular set. But yeah, so there you have it guys. Another video, um, please... As always, leave comments down below, like, like, and subscribe as well. And, uh, you know, I apologize if there weren't any videos for a while. Just, you know, scheduling and stuff has just been tough. And uh, please keep watching, you know, see, see whenever a video is posted. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you again soon for another video. And uh, stay safe, everybody.